U.S. stock market indices like the SPX and the Dow Jones Industrial Average hit new all-time highs recently. I predicted this already where more than a year ago I was saying this publicly that I think we are going to all-time highs in the stock markets when everyone was still bearish and expecting a crash late 2022. So now that we are at new all-time highs, I'm starting to think the opposite, where we are looking for a potential top sometime potentially within the next few months in 2024 for a top and the start of potentially another major global financial crisis. So let me dive into the charts, share with you my thoughts and reasoning. And again, all of this is based on technical analysis, past data to create a scenario with if then framework. So if something happens, then we can expect this based on these criteria. That is how I'm usually able to make these kind of predictions. By the way, if you are new to my channel, subscribe here on YouTube, follow my page on Instagram. And if you haven't done so yet, smash the like button. It does really help get these videos out to more people. Okay, so starting out just to show you proof over here, this was on my channel, these bullish signals point to new all time high in the stock markets this year. That was posted here on February 4th, 2023. So let me play a quick extract from that and then we move on to the current charts. Okay, so let's look at the S&P 500, the SPX here, and things are looking interesting here because we have now got two weekly closes above the 50 week moving average, which in theory is a bullish sign. Okay, it's no guarantee, but the odds favor this being bullish and a continuation potentially to the all time highs or new all time highs. So here is a weekly chart of the SPX. And as you can see perfectly, we are now at new all time highs that played out perfectly. So when I made that video in about February, we reclaimed it, it was roundabout over here. We had a little bit of chop, but eventually, yes, that analysis was correct. We reclaimed the 50 and we are now at all time highs. So if you've been following the channel, I have been saying for the last several months already that my expectation was indeed new all time highs in many indices. It's not just the US markets, we'll take a look at some of the European markets, uh, even the Asian markets, these indices are all making all time highs. Okay, so as that continues higher and higher and higher, now more and more people are starting to flip bullish. And what we always look to do is we look to counter trade the majority of the sentiment. So in 2022, when things were going down, the majority was starting to get bearish and net short positions in retail and funds, etc. And of course, what do we do? We get a massive rally and we go to all time highs. So now that we are at new all time highs, look at what is happening on the media everywhere. Everyone is starting to flip bullish. They're talking positive, positively about stocks. Um, everything is uh, analysts are increasing their end of the year projections are getting crazy targets um, recession is disappearing, etc, 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 right? These are the exact conditions that tend to make a top when everyone starts to FOMO in, starts flipping bullish, thinking we're going up only, and everyone is net long. What do you think happens? Well, they pull the rug and we start a massive crash to the downside. And I think that is what is in the process of setting up. So again, the last several months, I've been talking about this going up to all time highs. Then when we get a rate cut, right, the first rate cut, that is going to be my criteria, my warning sign. I've made videos about this in the past. I'm not going to go into detail again. Basically, when they cut rates, it happened in 2001, it happened in 2007, and we got major financial crisis following that. So we have had a massive rate increase cycle the last uh, over the past 12 months, and even a bit more than that, when we get that first rate cut, which is projected as soon as potentially March, but maybe only in May, obviously time is going to tell. But when we get that when it's official, that is going to be my warning sign, I think that we could be starting a new massive bear market, potentially a 50% drop in global stock markets. And as a result, potentially across all the risk assets, including crypto, including precious metals, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So now that we have that as a base and a kind of timing somewhere potentially between March and May, keep in mind the infamous uh, phrase sell in May and go away. Um, if you look back historically, it just tends to be a time when we see a correction during the summer. Maybe it's the start of a massive bear market. Who knows? But timing window wise, let's see, keep that in the back of your head as a price develops. And that gives you some sort of time frame to look at what is happening on the charts. 
Now, based on the trends purely, this is still completely bullish. We're above the 50 week moving average, we're above the 200, and market structure is still bullish. We're making higher highs and higher lows. So at this point in time, um, just purely looking at this chart all the way back here since 2009, you can see it is still bullish. We get into full bear territory when we officially you know, break down below the 50 and definitely below the 200. So at this point in time, if we get back below 43.55, and especially if we get back below 4,000 now at this point, then we kind of officially cross into bear market territory. But obviously that's a 20% drop before we get that at this point in time, meaning that if that were to happen, um, you already missed the first 20% before flipping into being a bear market, um, which means that you know there's a lot of unrealized losses here potentially if you are holding this to the long side and you don't get out in time. So what I wanna share with you here is just a warning of look at these charts and what is developing. And the easiest thing to look at over here is that we are having a massive bearish divergence already since 2018, meaning that the price here on the weekly is grinding higher and higher and higher while the RSI, the relative strength indicator, um, the relative strength index is just dropping lower. So it's making higher highs here, it's making lower highs here. And because it is on the weekly time frame, again, as you're seeing, this is taking years to develop, but once that finally plays out, we can be looking at a massive, massive downside here. Um, keep in mind 2000, uh, 2001 and 2008, there were 50% drops in the SPX here, okay? So a 50% drop takes us down to 2400, and that's about over here. And that, that's pretty big. And you gotta keep in mind here also, one pattern here that is very much something to keep an eye on is these double type of tops, right? Slightly higher high, we had it here between 2001, 2008, and it dropped. Just to bring your attention here to the Bitcoin chart on weekly, just to show you the pattern, okay, I'm not talking about Bitcoin here, just purely as a chart pattern, you can see here on weekly what happened. We made a slightly higher high over here, a bearish RSI divergence, and look at the drop that followed. And crypto basically follows similar market cycles, but they play out much, much faster. So instead of taking years or a decade, um, it takes uh, a year or two years or just a matter of months. So this pattern where we make a slightly higher high, but we have bearish divergences, on the higher time frames like the weekly, that is something to watch out for. So you can start to see over here, we have a slightly higher high. There's obviously still bullish momentum. How much higher can this keep going? It can still keep going a little bit higher. Like I said, my kind of timing window or warning window would be when they cut rates, which is only projected by at least March is the first one, but maybe even in that meeting following that, which is only in May. So we potentially here have uh, another two to four months of upside and how high that goes. I don't know how high do they push it. Uh, maybe it just hovers a little bit here. Maybe it still goes 10 or 20% higher. We don't know. So what you wanna watch out for here at this point is if we drop back here, okay? So if we make this deviation and it continues a bit higher, maybe it goes to 5,000, maybe they push it to that level or maybe it's just shy of it, who knows? And if we get that drop, if we get that drop here and we go back below this low, I would start getting very, very cautious and potentially even that might be a point for long-term swing shorts where you potentially put a stop at the high and let me put this setup on here, the setup tool. So if we do a short and we're looking for potential swings here and maybe if it does something like this, our stop would be the high and our target would very likely at least be uh, the 2022 lows over here, but probably if we're looking at a 50% drop, we might even be taking, looking at taking out these lows over here, 3250, or maybe even as low as this, 2200. So that would be a massive ROI, of course. Um, that's a one to eight risk reward, looking at the setup in this way. And you could do swing shorts depending on what you have access to, whether it's leverage or CFDs or options or whatever. I'm not gonna go into those details specifically about trading, but this would be something that I'm looking for and this would be the warning, okay? If we go above here, we're obviously at new all-time highs here. There's a bearish divergence already on higher time frames. Let's see if they push it a little bit higher the next couple of weeks, in the next two to four months. Again, let's see when we get that rate cut. Um, once it's official for now, it's just projection, projections, but not 100% guaranteed. We don't know if we're gonna get it in March or we're gonna get it in May. Is it gonna be later than that? Whenever the case is, it doesn't matter. We're just waiting for that idea to play out when we get the official confirmation, that could be the warning sign. If you combine that with how the charts are looking, we get a sweep here and we drop back below, that is the warning sign. 
So you can see something similar here on Bitcoin. If we had that, we had that as a double top, it swept it and it dropped back below. And at that point, again, we could have done something like this, a stop at the high, if it continues going, we would target probably at least these lows over here. That would be more likely. And uh, in this case, obviously it went even lower than that. Um, so we're looking at something similar potentially in the stock market. Now, I just used the S&P 500, the SPX here, as an example for the charts, but basically this would be a benchmark for all the major uh, stock market indices. I'll run you through a couple of them right now so you can see, and you can do a similar type of analysis, but basically the idea is now we are all above these uh, previous all-time highs. We're in price discovery mode, uh, uncharted territory. Everyone is starting to flip bullish, and this is a perfect setup exactly for this there's the bearish rsi divergences the real economy is terrible um, people are poor credit card debt is uh, insane uh, all this kind of stuff just stacks up for once the liquidity stops here i think once everyone is suckered in to fomo along these tops and new all-time highs we could see a massive massive crash and potentially like i said starting in the next few months so let me run you through a few more charts by the way I would love to hear your thoughts on this because this is just my theory. This is what I'm seeing based on how I see the charts and the data that I'm seeing. I could be wrong, of course, so I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Let me think. Let me know what you think. Could this be something that you see happening in 2024, a peak and a massive crash? Or do you think this is completely wrong? And do you think we're going up only for the next few years? Let us know in the comments. It'll be interesting to read. So here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, almost 38,000. You can see it usually leads the SPX by a little bit to the upside and to the downside. Um, usually it tends to lead in that price action. So now, yes, indeed, we are above uh, the all-time high. We're in price discovery mode. And a similar setup, I would say, watch for a drop back below this all-time high. Maybe it still goes a bit higher. Maybe they push it to 40. I don't know, can they push it to 44,000, another 20%? I don't know. Um, either way, you can see how strong this last rally is. And usually that tends to happen as just a complete squeeze of everyone who's betting to the short side, to the downside, squeeze them all out. And then when everyone's liquidated, once they all start flipping long, completely rugged and move it in the opposite direction. And as you can see over here, bringing up the RSI, since 2018, same thing. We've been making higher highs over here and we are making lower highs on the RSI. So this is just a warning, just a matter of time, usually before we get a major reversal here in these markets. Here is the NASDAQ, right? Also new all-time highs. So all three of those major indices, all at new all-time highs. Okay, perfectly still here in bullish territory as they are above the 250 moving average. But you can see the same setup, right? We have a bearish divergence. We actually have multiple bearish divergences here. Even on this last little move, you can see here on the weekly um, since the past year, this is since May, June, May, um, higher high here, but lower high here. And even the whole move here compared to this top, everything is just pointing towards bearish divergences here and potential short-term tops, or maybe even, like I said, a one to two year bear market in these stock markets that is going to hit us soon. Time is going to tell, obviously, but the warning signs are here, in my opinion. Here's something a little bit different. The DAX is the German stock index. Similar thing. New all time highs have been hit over here, but you can see there's bearish divergences here. It's all setting up. All of these indices are all looking in the same way. So in that same way, like I was able to say a year ago that I think we're going to all time highs because of that opposite sentiment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm starting to say now we are looking at a potential reversal, potentially a stock market top, a global financial uh, stock market top in Europe, in Asia, with that downside potentially coming and starting after that first rate cut. Even the Japanese stock index, the Nikkei, is now at all time highs. But again, you can see the bearish divergence here. So everything is making all time highs now. Um, Asia, Europe, the US stock indices, and there are bearish divergences present. And you can see here, for example, based on this chart, we are already starting to see things like the asset managers are now the most bullish on the S&P 500 since early 2021. In the same way, they were all massively bearish at the bottom at the lows in 2022. Now they're all starting to flip bullish towards the top, new all-time highs. Everyone is bullish, bullish, bullish. And sure, there's still that that uh, euphoria and that bullish momentum that is continuing to push this. So I don't know how much do they push it. Another 5%, 10%, maybe 20%. Maybe we go up for another two to four months, but we are getting close. So watch out for 
if this drops back below those previous lows, like I showed you on the chart, that could be a potential signal here that the top is in and we are in for a lot lower. Again, like I said, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This is again my theory. Time will tell if we play it out, uh, if we're going to be right or not based on this. I was right last year about the new all-time highs. Let's see how this ends up playing out. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe here on YouTube. Make sure to follow my page on Instagram and smash the like button if you enjoy this content.